It can be quite difficult for street pho photographers to, um, to know what, um, what to do to make money from street photography. Um, what you have to think is not necessarily how street photography itself is going to bring you money. You might not get hired as a street photographer. But there are many skills that you're learning with street photography that make you actually a very strong photographer. You're learning about how to shoot people who are not necessarily willing, um, shooting in light conditions that you do not have control on. So there's many things you're learning uh, in street photography. Personally, I think that um, I've been hired many times because of my street photography that people have found um, for events. There's many events where people do not want it to look staged or to look like the events that uh, photography that you see everywhere else. They want a documentary style. They want photography to reflect exactly how the day went. So people are not aware that you're around. So you're like a ninja, which is what you do in the street, but you're like a ninja in an event. You shoot people, they don't even realize you're here and you've actually captured the event as it was, not some fake reality. Um, so that's one way. So the events could be weddings, they could be birthdays, they could be, you know, I've been hired for these, um, all sorts of events. Um, another way also, I've been hired because of my street photography by some street food markets, um, the big one, Street Feast in London. Um, they wanted, again, someone to photograph people having fun, enjoying the food, enjoying the drinks without people posing or looking at the camera, you know, so it felt real. So it felt like something people wanted to be a part of. And finally, I've also been hired by big companies like Match.com, for example. Match.com hired me to go around East London and stop people in the street, ask them to shoot their portrait. So it's not quite candid photo street photography, but it's, you know, once you know how to shoot candid, you know how to pose people in the street um, and yeah I had to shoot strangers and ask them about their imperfections to make a bit of a story behind but all this is linked to street photography so don't think necessarily how is my street photography in itself going to take me anywhere but more the skills the different skills different things you've learned in street photography how they can apply to other genres and and yeah appeal to people